everybody. We are on the road for Red Deer. I said I was um, possibly going to vlog this trip and I decided to do it. We're going to do it and we're all into this really small car of Chad's. Chad, say hi. Hi. This is my dog, Gizmo. Say hi. Say hello. She's shy. Um, and Jack is down by my feet, but I'll show you guys um, later on during the vlog. So yeah, so we're on our way and um, I have a little bit of footage. It's raining again. I mean, it was raining the last time I did a video like this. Um, we finally had a thunderstorm today, which is super cool. So um, I'll update you guys when we get there or just when like, we're entering Red Deer and uh, we'll see you soon. I forgot to mention, I'm drinking. Yes, we have two partners. We're Canadian, we have two partners. Um, I'm drinking a London Fog. It's become my new favorite ever since I had them at Tim Hortons. It is a latte, but using Earl Grey tea and a hint of vanilla syrup. It's quite good, and it's not over sweet either, which is really nice. Uh, we also got Timbits. Timbits. My favorite are the Honey Timbits, the Honey Dip ones. I don't really get them that often, but on a road trip, I'm like, oh, why not? And um, Danica likes the sprinkle ones, and Connor likes the chocolate ones. There's Connor. What are you doing, Connor? Hi. Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> and there's Baby, and he's helping to feed Baby. And there's Danica. Say hi to the vlog, Danica. Say hi. <laughs> well, usually she's not so shy. Um, but we have about an hour and 15 minutes left of our trip. Hey everybody. Let's decide before we get there so we don't Yep, we can stop. We are in the truck and we're heading to McDonald's. The Legion was closed. Oh, chicken nuggets. And, and we ran into a huge uh, accident. Um, I'll probably put a picture of the screen if I can. And there's a severe storm watch for Red Deer. But I'll update you guys when we get to the brewery. Nice. Hey guys. So I'm back. We are on Sunday. I did not get a chance to vlog any of the content from yesterday or today. Um, I feel like such a, a vlog. Uh, <laughs> a vlog newbie. I haven't vlogged anything. Um, so basically, I think I'm just going to add all of this content to the vlog um, or to the life update video because. Honestly, I never had a chance to really talk about much of anything. I didn't even bring my planner out. Wow. I'm a great vlogger. So I should grab my planner. I just filmed a whole bit and I didn't realize that I was not filming. So um, I suck at vlogging, basically. Don't go down there, Danica. I suck at vlogging because Why? we are at, we're in Red Deer. And we're at, go down there? because you don't have shoes on. We were in Red Deer, we were at my son's grandpa's, and Here, I did not vlog. Okay. We did, <laughs> we did not vlog the entire weekend. Um, so I'm going to consider this my weekly update video. Oh, and we just came back from two breweries. So I've had a few beers, and things are rough. It's always rough when the door shuts on your <laughs> fingers and you're watching three kids. It is crazy. So I'm going to talk about Sunday. I have no idea what I wrote down, so I'm going to read everything that I wrote. So I'm currently in my Anna binder. This is the Anna Compact with my Her Point of View inserts. And uh, we're going to start from Sunday of last week because I can't remember what happened. I remember it being a rough week. So I said, I woke up and thought Sunday was going to be a relaxing day. I was going to go grocery shopping. I was going to go swimming and that was going to be it. But we we're going to go swimming early. They open at 1.30. We didn't go till 5, guys. Um, it was a rough. I got my shoes out. Good job. Don't fall down the stairs. I won't. Because mom already caught her hands in the door and it hurt. So please don't fall. 
Okay, so I slept in. My mom stayed for a little while to watch the kids. Um, and then, yeah, because she dropped off Connor. So it was Sunday. Uh, my son stayed at her house Saturday night. Um, she watched kids while I went to the grocery store, which was really super nice. Um, I had to go to Walmart and Chili's, grabbed a few things. Um, it was stressful because people are really grumpy on the weekends. I don't know what it is. Is it just me? I don't know. But it was rough. It was really rough. Um, honestly, it was. Um, so I remember that my mom was trying to get my son to sleep, my baby. Um, she got him to sleep and then my kids were acting out because they always seem to act out when she's there. I don't know why. I didn't get to go swimming until five and swimming was closed at six. We went swimming for five. We left at five. It took 15 minutes to get there and we went swimming and then my son had an incident. He usually goes down the slide with a tube, right? Like so they can go down easily. He doesn't know how to swim yet. He went down without a tube for some random reason. And he went down without a tube and he traumatized himself. He ended up almost drowning. <laughs> oh, I wasn't there. I was in the baby pool with my baby and my son, my husband was there, but he had turned around at that exact moment to watch my daughter because as you guys know, she's three and she likes to act like she's two and she runs away like a crazy girl. And my son almost drowned and the lifeguard had to jump in after him and rescue him and so now he is traumatized and he never wants to go back to the pool again which is absolutely crazy but that's what happened he wanted to leave right away we were only there for half an hour <laughs> we were there for half an hour and he wanted to leave so that's what happened there they left us notes that he may have aspirated water so to watch him because he could possibly get a respiratory infection thank god he did not come monday morning okay <laughs> Okay, guys, we got up at six or I got up at six and I got downstairs with Logan. I fed him and then did my planning before the kids woke up. So remember, uh, the Tuesday was Connor's last day of school. So he still went to school Monday. Um, I did not put as much pressure on myself. I did work later throughout the day. Um, that's kind of my plan throughout the summer is to be able to sleep in and then work whenever I can or whenever my kids allow me to. Really, um, I call it my summer schedule. And then I spent more time outside with my daughter while Logan was sleeping. So I got all of my list, um, all of my work done on my list that day, which was crazy. Um, and it was very productive. So I remember Monday being a very, very, very good day. Okay. Um, and then comes Tuesday. So I remember waking up at six. Um, I did my weekly update video in the morning, which is the same thing that we're doing now. Hopefully I'll get that done on Tuesday. But I was like, okay, I'm going to write my blog. My blog is my main thing that I do on Tuesday. I was like, I'm going to write my blog outside. So I went outside and I called my mom and I'm like, hey, come over for a drink or two. Like, let's come outside and let's have some fun. It was so hot out. The whole week was warm. So we were like, okay, come outside. So she comes over and I'm like, this is going to be awesome. We're going to visit. We're going to chat. We're going to have a drink. It's going to be crazy. And then I went inside. I put my computer away. Don't stand by the stairs, honey. I put my computer away, grabbed a drink, and by the time I came outside, Danica was screaming. And I was like, oh my god, what's going on? So I come outside, and Danica had jumped on her bike without her helmet, and she had cracked her skin open on the back of her head. My mom offered to take her in, and she spent seven hours in emergency waiting to get a stitch. So we have free healthcare, guys. We have the most amazing healthcare in the world here in Canada. And <laughs> we waited seven hours for my daughter to get one single stitch. And she got freezing medication and she got a stitch and she was amazing and it was awesome. I mean, a three-year-old waiting for seven hours in a medical clinic, it was amazing. But my poor mom was so grumpy when she got back. And, um, and Danica was grumpy because she was overtired. It was nine o'clock when they got home and it was so rough. And um, she's okay though. She does not have a concussion, she's okay. But it was so stressful for me because I was panicking the entire time. I stayed home to watch my baby. My mom had offered to take her in. And that's what happened. I was devastated. I did not get much work done. And it was my son's last day of school. So we did not get to celebrate as we wanted to. Um, and then my mom took my son back to her place for a sleepover. So I did not have to watch him. And I was not allowed to give my daughter a bath because the doctor said that it was unsafe to do so. I just got her stitch and uh, she wasn't allowed to have a bath. So I put her to bed and life went on. 
Okay, so then comes Wednesday. Uh, my mom brought my son back by three o'clock that day, and it was such a long day. My kids have been crazy ever since school let out with my son home. He has been acting like a crazy person with my daughter. And um, I did film, I started filming my, my planner setup. I did both of my planner setups for my compact and my classic on Wednesday. Um, I've decided to film both of them. I did that while my kids were awake and up. Um, and that night I ended up giving my daughter a bath and she was okay with her stitch or whatever. And then my son and I watched it too. So it was actually really good. If you guys are into scary movies, you should definitely check it out. Um, it was super good and he actually liked it. And we never had any bad dreams. So <laughs> it was a good night. Um, come Thursday, it was another rough day with the kids. It was 33 degrees Celsius with the Humidex. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, yeah. but if you guys yeah. um, are from the States and you're watching this, it, yeah, the snow yeah. isn't very hot. It was probably in the, the 90s, I'm assuming yeah. that's what it is. Yeah, I did it. Um, so we stayed outside mostly, but Danica did play outside. So Thursday was the editing yeah. and um, editing and filming day i ended up filming my weekly plan with me that day and the only video that i got done editing was my franklin classic i think it's classic classic video um i had that done for saturday um i did my compact video on friday so it was a, a huge ever since like wednesday it was a huge filming and editing like kind of weekend really and then come friday so i did sleep in i remember i slept until about nine o'clock and my body was hurting a lot so i didn't feel the best when i woke up um planners anonymous coastal escape was supposed to come in it did not it's not supposed to come in until tuesday i remember here in canada um canada day was on the first so happy canada day to anyone watching in canada and happy July 4th day to anyone in the States. So I'm so glad that, that you guys are able to watch this and still celebrate. And um, it's very exciting. So I hope you guys are having yeah. a great weekend. Yeah, I was kind of bummed though because my Jane's agenda should have been delivered like a while ago. And it's still not coming until like next week, which is like Tuesday or Wednesday. So that's kind of sad. And then also Planners Anonymous won't come until Tuesday. Okay, so the rough, I had a rough morning. That was Friday morning, very rough because the kids again, they're crazy. I don't know what's in like what's in their water. I swear to God, there's something in their water. Um, but we did have date night. I remember Chad, so Chad is off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday because his work decided to give him Monday off as well. And um sorry, my daughter's outside playing with uh, my my son's grandpa's dog so chad and i had a very good night i did not take any pictures unfortunately but we had a fun uh you know he he hasn't been to karaoke in a while so he had a lot of fun and everybody really enjoyed his singing um he said he's actually sounding right said fred i'm too sexy and it was so funny it was really it was hilarious so yesterday we ended up leaving for red deer uh, i think it was almost 1 30 by the time we got going and uh, we did come across an accident on the way to red deer it was about 15 minutes before we got here i'll put a picture of it on the screen because i just take pictures probably shouldn't have because it was actually pretty terrible two cars got totaled one was completely totaled from front to back hopefully nobody got seriously injured but somebody somebody did get hurt because an ambulance zoomed off with their sirens blazing um so hopefully hopefully everybody was okay but um we ended up leaving late because i was packing i didn't pack till saturday morning um i did get all my work done though so that was good we thought we were going to be able to go to the legion which we were not able to because the legion was closed it was january or it was july 1st so of course the legion was closed i kind of thought it would be um and i had got my son's grandpa to check but he said he never saw anything online so we just assumed it was open and they weren't they were closed it was so sad because the kids love it um there's so many fun things actually for them to do which is you wouldn't think there is but there was um and then we went to we went to a brewery called belly hop and uh, we had i had three beers there and it was you know it was really good we had a fun time we came home we had supper and then i ended up watching um a movie called the cobbler with adam sandler if you guys have seen that movie give me a thumbs up in the comments it's actually pretty funny it was a good feel good movie right um 
Adam Sandler is an amazing actor. We love him. Um, and then today, so I was writing notes today, actually, when we went to um, Troubled Monk. So Troubled Monk is another brewery here in Red Deer. And uh, let me know in the comments if any of you are from Red Deer or Edmonton or from Alberta and you have been to Troubled Monk, let me know. I would love to know um, if you guys have, have been there or heard of it even. Um, so we went there for a beer, and uh, it's funny because my son's grandpa, uh, Mark, he actually brewed a beer. It is called, like, the Red Deer Brewers Club, and he brewed a beer to be sold there, but they do not have it on their board, but it's technically supposed to be called Shazad, um, which is my husband's name. He got it from Big Bad Shazad, so out of his home, he brews um, beer. And one of the beers is called Big Bad Chazad. And that is the beer he has being sold at Troubled Monk, which is amazing because they actually voted for that one to be sold. Um, and yeah, it was sad. They didn't even have it on the board. So I don't know what that means, if they didn't think it was good enough or if it's not that popular or whatever it is. But it was pretty good. I mean, for for being an IPA, um, my husband's favorite beers are IPAs. So <laughs> Um, but yeah, anyway, so we went there and then we went to belly hop tonight and that is basically it. I'm kind of sad because, um, so here I am on my, my son's grandpa's like balcony and he used to have these beautiful trees in the back. They were pop, or were they poplars? I can't remember what kind of trees they were, but they were here and before, like since we've come, the last time we came was, um, the last holiday. I don't even remember when it was, but we came and he had the trees up still. And since then he got rid of them because the roots were digging into the backyard. So they're all gone. But whenever it was windy, you could hear the trees, leaves rustle in the breeze. And it felt so good and it sounded so nice. Um, and now you can no longer hear them. So I'm really sad about that, actually. I'm more sad than I thought I would be. I knew eventually he would get rid of them because the roots were digging up into his foundation. But, um, but anyway, so that's it for our week. And I feel bad that I never was able to vlog as much as I wanted to. Um, you guys, I won't have this video up till Wednesday. So tomorrow is Monday. I'll still add a little bit of our going home vlog. Maybe show a little bit of what I pack. Um, but other than that, that is it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, but I'll probably vlog a little bit tomorrow and let you guys... Um, I'll sign off tomorrow probably. Uh, but anyway, so I just want to show my daughter here. Here she is. Danica, say hi to the camera. Hi. <laughs> so there's my daughter. That's Danica. And that's my son. I have no idea what he's doing. He's in the window. He's being a weirdo. Mom, I picked up <laughs> Aren't these. All kids? Mom, I picked up these rocks. Oh, sure you did. But you can't bring those in the house, you know. I right? picked the rocks from down there. Yeah, you can't bring them in the house, though. But I Papa can't... doesn't want them in the house. Oh, and here's my um, my son's grandpa's dog, Buster. Buster, say hi to the camera. Say hi, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> say hi. Here. Hey, come say hi. All right. Well, that's yeah. He doesn't want to. All right. So that's it for now, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow, and then we'll end the vlog there. Bye. Hey guys. Say hi. Say hi.